Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to read a chapter from ninth class, and the name of the chapter is "The Little Girl." This story is about a girl and her father. The little girl used to scare from her father very much. Every morning, when father is going to work, he will come to the girl. and he will give a casual kiss to this child and he will say goodbye girl will also reply with goodbye and after that the girl will feel little bit relief but she is completely relaxed when father's car is going little bit far away when the sound of the car is very very low or there is no sound of the car then she is relaxed that my father has gone now in the evening time when the father is coming in the home she will stand in the staircase and she will wait for father and when the father is in the house he will say bring my tea into the drawing room and he will also ask for the newspaper and will say mother go and see if my papers are there or not and he will also request to bring the sleepers now the name of this girl is kejia mother will request kejia kejia if you are a good girl come down the stairs and take off father's boots she request kejia to remove the boots of father slowly the girl would slip down the stairs she is very much scared very much slowly she is coming she is moving to the drawing room she never stuttered with other people whenever she is speaking to others she is quite confident and she never stammer but whenever she is speaking with father she will not be able to speak properly and father will ask what is the matter why are you looking so miserable and father is worried and saying to mother that i think one day this girl will lose her sight she is even not able to speak properly what she will do in her life now father is asking kejia take my tea cup back to the table carefully for this little girl kejia father is so much big his hands his neck especially his mouth when he is yawning and the girl is thinking that he is not a normal person he is just like a jian so you can understand that this girl is scared of her father very very much by the time father is having spectacles on and looking towards the girl the girl is very much terrified now father will say kejia fast pull up my boots take them outside and today what you have done you have been a good girl or like bad girl now when she is speaking in front of father i did it not not father she is not able to speak properly father is also imitating you did it don't know if you will stammer if you will stutter like that your mother will have to take you to the doctor and we will consult a good doctor why you are not able to speak properly in front of me on sunday afternoon father is on rest now grandmother sent this little girl kejia to the drawing room so that she can talk with father and mother but the little girl whenever she is going down side on sundays she will find mother is reading some kind of magazine and father is completely relaxing on the sofa 
and the handkerchief of father is on the face and his feet on one of the best cushion and father is sleeping soundly and enjoying the sleep and snoring also making great sounds also so the girl is not able to talk to them now the girl is sitting on a stool and watching until father walk up and ask the time who father is asking the time to the girl and said to her don't stay here so pejia why are you looking towards me like this you are looking like a little brown owl one day when the girl was indoors only the girl was not allowed to come outside as she was having cold then her grandmother told the girl that your father's birthday is in next week and grandmother advised the girl that you can make a pin cushion as a gift for your father and there is a beautiful piece of yellow silk also you can make this with the help of that cloth with great hard work with great labor using double cotton the girl stitched this pillow from three sides but what to fill it with there is nothing to put in the pillow that was the question now she asked the grandmother she was in the garden she went into mother's bedroom and she was looking for something which she can put on this pillow and she can complete it finally she found some papers there she took them tore them into small small pieces and fill it in that pin cushion and then finally from the fourth side she also stitched now the gift is ready for father now she wanted to surprise her father that night there was a great uproar in the house father shouting on everyone why father was shouting father was having a great speech for the port authority and which had been lost everywhere they are searching in the rooms they have asked to the servants finally mother came into kejia's room and asked to kejia kejia i think you haven't seen some papers on a table in our room but she is surprised that kejia said oh i tore them up for my surprise that i was preparing a surprise for father and i tore them mother is now screaming what how you can do that come down immediately in the dining room in front of your father so mother and father now knew that who has done this this mistake was done by kejia the little girl who was already scared from father and she was dragged down she didn't want to come down side but finally she was taken down side with the help of mother and father was moving here there in the room and now mother explained everything to father he stopped and now father is staring toward the child did you do that and the girl is saying slowly no 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 mother is going up and bringing the that gift surprise gift that child had prepared and now father is very much angry on that girl mother and father both are confused that what this girl is going to do crying too much the girl is crying so much and in the evening light she is just like a very very miserable creature father came into her room and he is having a ruler in his hand and he said that you have done a big blunder big mistake and i am giving going to give you punishment for this 
the girl is screaming no father please don't beat me then father said sit down properly and take out your hands you must be taught a lesson that you should not touch the things which does not belong to you without taking permission from others now the girl is requesting but father it was for your birthday but father punished the girl with the ruler on her little pink palms after many hours finally in the lap of grandmother the girl slept and she was thinking what to do and the girl is asking to grandmother why are fathers there in the world they are here to beat us now the girl is very much scared go to sleep pet you will forget all about in the morning now grandmother is making the girl little bit comfortable and said that next morning everything will be okay don't worry but the child never forgot already she used to scare from father now she is more scared next time whenever she is in front of father she will take both hands behind her back and she will be very much terrified now the girl is looking towards the neighbors mr mcdonalds he is living next door he is having five children and now she is looking towards them father is playing tag in the evening with all the children father with the baby mao on his shoulder two little girls hanging on to his coat pockets running around and the flower beds shaking with laughter everyone is so much happy and once he saw the boys turn the horse on him and he tried to catch them laughing all the time it means father is fully enjoying with the small children and the girl is thinking he is a different kind of father then it was decided there were different sorts of father one day mother became ill and she and grandmother went to hospital now in the house who is there the little girl kejia is alone but she is having one more partner the cook alice is there and in the day time everything was okay in the night time when alice was putting her to bed the girl become very much scared the girl is saying what to do in the night whenever i am sleeping i am having nightmares very very deadly dreams i can't sleep i used to sleep with grandma but now she is not there i can't stay in the dark it is very very much scary for me now the alice the cook is trying to make her comfortable but she is screaming and alice the cook is requesting that don't shout don't scream and you will make your poor father oh she is having a bad dream one butcher is there he is having a knife and she is requesting i want granny i want granny now father came there slowly and slowly and came to the passage of big bedroom a newspaper was on the bed he put over the paper then carefully took up the child he took the child towards his room father was very much tired so he slept little girl was not so much tired now father took the little girl into her room and now the both are relaxing so father was very much tired so he slept but little girl she was thinking she was not able to sleep properly now she is thinking about father that 
how much hard work my father is doing for our family. She is this much tired in the night that he can't be Mr. McDonald. He can't play with us like him. Now, he is sleeping there and he is having but a smile. So, the girl is now comparing his father to her father to butcher. But slowly and slowly, ideas, thinking, they are changing. She is coming closer to father and now she is thinking that my father is not a bad man, he is a good man. Father made her relaxed by saying that don't worry, I am there. If you are feeling so much cold, you can rub your feet against my legs and you will be warm. Now she is thinking that I had torn up all the beautiful writing of father and suddenly she is here. What is the matter? Father is asking. Another dream? You are having another dream? Oh, said the little girl. My head is on your heart. She is saying to father that my head is very very close to your heart and I can hear your heart beating. Father, my dear father, you are very very nice and you are having a very very big heart. It means now the thinking of that girl changed that his father is not bad. His father is different person. Thanks for watching.